Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. We are going to do some metal detecting today. We have this uh, macro multi cruiser, a couple of pinpointers, spades, and this little tiny coil that's going to help us out to go in between all of this small stuff here. I'm going to use the GoPro camera, use this normal camera, and off we go. So I set up a very easy three tone, four tone program. I'm going to try and go a little bit deep, a lot of leaves and stuff. Uh, why are we here? Well, believe it or not, in this tiny little forest, let me show you, nothing much you can see actually. The Germans stored more than 600 tons of munition in buried pits and uh, open storages and all of that. So we are kind of basically here to see if there could be anything whatsoever from what happened here. I, I, we don't have a clue whether we will find anything whatsoever, but we are here to try. We are willing to try and we'll share. Whatever comes up, we do so. They stored artillery shells, mortars, grenades, you name it, it was all here. And I can promise you, 700 tons, that's a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna do this one, see if that could be anything else than a pull tab. <laughs> Let me fill you in very quickly of uh, what we're doing and where we are. This is a forest. The Germans found out that this forest was something that I really wanted. Uh, there's a road passing by, excellent to drop off trucks. They dug uh, pits in the ground in the forest uh, floor and those pits covered or, or contained ammunition. So they dug out this, it was sand, put some logs on top, camouflage canvas. The munition was safe enough there. Boom, they got it. There were a couple of guard huts and barracks. It was a bathroom, uh, kind of barrack, uh, wash barrack. And I think there was also a tiny little kitchen barrack there. Uh, if I'm not too wrong, there was about 12 German guys there. And um, the whole perimeter was covered with mines and bobbed wire. So it was pretty safe, but they stored all the munition in the pits like that. So that is what we're doing. And this is where we're at. Got something going on right there. Is that really iron? Oh, it's a massive piece of iron. And uh, what could that be? Oh, yeah, that look at that, eagle eyes. That's a freaking that is a artillery shell. See the circle here? Amazing, absolutely first dig. And we find a piece of what was here. They actually blew up some of the munition here after the war in the cleanup. But I am amazed to see that that is actually, see that? This used to be maybe an artillery shell. And uh, even, as, could it have been a small bomb? No, it's definitely an artillery shell. And I think that could have been after they blew up the uh, munition here. There were millions of rounds of different kinds of types here. You never thought I would find that right away. That is so cool. So heavy. I think that's a success already. <laughs> there are some logging going on in the forest. They actually thinned out this forest a few years ago. It was so intense. You couldn't even walk in here. Now it's a bit easier to actually walk inside and I'm happy for that. But to find this artillery shell piece there. That is absolutely incredible. It's about trying to kind of wind back time and see if there could be pieces of the past. And uh, it's very rare that you can go right into such a forest and find it right away. You have normally you have to look a long time before you can find anything. And then suddenly it proves to us that, well, this is where it happened. Here we are. The artifacts are in the ground. How cool is that? But will that be the only piece? I haven't got a clue, but it's 700 tons of munition. Somewhere bl blown up. Should be some possibility to find other pieces as well. What do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna say thank you all for being here. Thank you for your great support. It sends me and Eagle Eyes out on these road trips. They're very exciting. We share as much as we can, and it's greatly appreciated. We have something here, you guys. You can take that. You guys gonna do one here? 
Right there. Do you see it? Could be a surface find actually. You can see that. Used to pinpoint the first. There's so many thorns here and the thorns are messing up the detector and everything. Sorry? Did you find it? It's very exciting to be out here on the road. Finding the past and then sharing it with you. I just love that. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as we do find history, I can share it with you. Alright, all the way down here. And use the pin printer. Well, that's probably just a tiny little fragment. You can barely hear a signal. Hey. Ooh, what is that? What a boot. Just a tiny little metal speck. He has a lot of them. So who knows, maybe barbed wire. There were double barbed wire fencing systems and uh, 7,000 mines around this area. So that could also be some of it. See, it's not a piece. Where is it going? Check it out. Oops. That's is that aluminium? No, it can't be. Very lightweight. Oh, I haven't got a clue. Could be something from what they have here. Oh, there's a hole here. Oh, could that be something from a munition box? Really? It could really be the locking. Could be. No, what is that? That is something with a little bit more texture. Hmm. Well, I really can't tell you. The hole in it there. Never seen that Again, before. could very well be for some of the uh, boxes that was storing the munition and stuff like that. Or it could be a bigger, larger piece of something. Oh, Eli's. This is the front of a. What is it? Yeah, it's a piece of a single flare. Aluminium signal flare. Definitely. That's the front. That was pushed into a single flare gun and then fired and there were different colors. It would be like this long. Let me show you. I'll, I'll take you back to the crib and uh, I'll show you what that looked like. So what we found was the piece here, the front piece, which hasn't been fired. And maybe this is the story about that little piece. Frank, he came from Dresden. He was put here to guard the perimeter here. He was equipped with this gun here. And suddenly he heard something going on and he wanted to give a little message to whoever was there. Go away. So he sent up a little flare to light up the area. And that flare, that is my that could be the piece that we found there. You see these single flares there? They even have text. This one says, best to be used before blah, 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 1943. Uh, is it 2, 1942? And this is what Frank used at his guard position to notify whoever needed to be notified. And even if there was an alarm, he would probably send out a red one and all hell broke loose. So that's what's so interesting, even just that tiny little piece. It tells a story, it tells a context, and uh, maybe Frank was the last person who saw that piece. <laughs> all right, let's go out and continue. Here you go. That was also registered here. Uh, I've seen an inventory, and there were three and a half thousand signal first stored here. And, uh, why is that little piece there? I really couldn't tell. But it's definitely a piece, a front piece of one of these. And I can actually also see some of the power that was uh, the content of the single shell. So that is cool. Now let me show you. 
down in one of the holes that they had here. And this is where they also stored munition. They just dug a hole in the forest and then they put the munition in here. There's not a reason for that because then they could cover it with camouflage cameras and things like that. Neo again. Is it from this activity? I really couldn't tell you. But I'm down in one of the holes and that's pretty exciting actually. <laughs> one thing is very irritating, see that? That is steel cable. That's a part of the uh, bobbed wire fence systems that was around here when very often after the war they just chucked it down in the holes and it's still here and every time you come down here you will find a ton of these. It was definitely not something to say hip ray for but it's a button. And it's actually a button from a German soldier. So Hans was here. <laughs> we found him. I like that. There's something here. Still 78. Typical signal of a brass cartridge. But since we have no luck here, I'm not sure what it would be. Uh -huh. That could very well be from one of the housings or barrack they had here. The guard barracks for the era. It's just around the corner, so that could very well be from that. Look what I found. I found communication power supply cable from the facility. This is cable that most of the time transported either power or signals back and forth to the cruiser manning the uh, munition storage still there got this tiny little live ammo round I think it's for the P um, PPK or the pistol Polizei Pistole I think that's it and I see a red line around there that is typical. So we have more from the munition storage. How cool is that? That's a live round. One of the millions that used to be here. Crazy. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays. You can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Basinga. That is actually pretty cool. That is one of the detonators. The thing here was used for several purposes. But that is actually not too easy to find because it's so tiny. And normally it will go away, corrode away. That is directly from the munition storage, 100% for sure. So we did find a proof of the German munition storage. I was starting to wonder would we actually, but we found the artillery shell thing we saw with the curved piece. And now we found this one, so yeah, for sure the munition storage pieces are here. Well, of course, we needed eagle eyes, yeah. and uh, I don't know what to say. I was so, so finished with this place, and I just said to eagle eyes, we're not going to do any more. And he said, I'm going to do a couple of digs. He did one, he found the cap, and then, this is, this is typical him. Let me show, no, 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 I'm going to let them see it first. He actually doesn't know what it is. I had to tell him that this is one of a very, very, very special find. And how come we can do that right here? 
I really don't know. But he's going to bring it up and uh, you're definitely going to f see it. You can take it up. This is one in a lifetime. Just put your hand, the other hand, the other, other hand here. This is out of this world. And don't, don't, don't touch it. It, it, it. Don't touch it. If you touch that, that will go away. The paint inside there is extremely sensitive, so don't touch that, okay? This, I don't know what to say. This is a complete uh, cap badge, and I'm going to show that when it's cleaned off, because we're not going to clean it off now. you got to be kidding me. Every time... I go to places like this and I kind of give up and then Eagle Eye says, I'm going to do a little bit. How is that possible? Did you remove the red paint? No. It's not there. It should be. Yeah, no, just, just, just be, this is a cap badge insignia, a German cap ba badge insignia. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say because this little boy here, he does miracles. I don't understand it. Well, Why? I have never, never, never found one in this complete order. And it seems like it is absolutely... Do you remember? We found this from here to here. You found this from here to here. Yeah. At this uh, other... The radar installation here. You remember? I don't remember. Yeah. We, we found all of this, this half one. And now you're finding this. I don't believe my eyes. This is like one in a lifetime to find something as incredible as this piece here. Oh, I'm going to clean it up and uh, you're going to see exactly what that is. All right, so this is what it looks like partly cleaned because Eagle Eyes wanted to see something else that was just underneath that one. A bullet! was just underneath here. So we had a second signal. A cartridge. That's the oak leaf cap badge from a German something the soldier officer General, General. this is out of this world I wonder how nice that will clean up and the date you said was 1936 1936 so we have um, just wanted to see this before we clean it up back in the history of the crib that is unreal Oh yes, that little forest does have some incredible World War II history. If you want to see us go out and reach more targets like this, we have this little super thanks feature here. That is your opportunity to help us out to get some gasoline into the fuel tank, go out and find amazing history like that. I cannot believe how lucky Eagle Eyes, my son, is sometimes because it's not too long ago he found this. He didn't find just one Kriegsmarine button, he found 17 in one hole at a German Kriegsmarine position. And he found that one, he found half of this, another location, and I'm not finding anything. So I'm so happy that he's joining us because in that way it will be very exciting. <laughs> Thank you all for being in the force. Thank you all our Patreon team members. You are the guys and girls who makes this come true. And thank you to all of you who donate on the PayPal thing. This thing here, by the way, has already, already been passed on to one of our supporters. As you saw that little segment about becoming a Patreon team member. Well, Motley, you know you are the future keeper of this. And uh, we're very proud that you will be the future keeper of a very special piece of history and in that way we share history in a very special way thank you for being here there will be more videos coming out really really soon so stay safe keep smiling and we'll definitely see you out there in the next one